Hey, this is Aaron with Bushcraft Devotions. With another knife review. What is this? Well, some might think it's the Buck 119 Special, but it's not. It's one that has come and gone a few times. And we're gonna look at it, talk about what it's used for, and I'm excited, so let's take a look at it here. All right, what do we got here? Got your warranty information. And of course, a message from the Buck family. I've read that a few times in my reviews. Little thing about the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is what has made them so good of a knife company and stand by their word. So what is this? This is the Buck 117. Now, some people call it the Brahma as well, but the Buck 117 is what I've always known it for. You do have the sheath there. It is a nice one. It's the same one, the same type leather that comes with the 119 Special and the 120 General. It is a very nice knife. This is like, they call it the 119 Mini. And you'll see why in a minute, because I have the 119, I'll show you that. Let's open that up. Look at the sheath a little bit more. It does have your plastic insert, just like the other ones. You can see it down there, and it does have your hole for drainage. And it's always important, and when you're, of course, storing your knife, you always want to make sure it's cleaned, and you'll want to put some oil on it. I put some food safe mineral oil on mine when I'm storing it. This is pretty new, though. I have not used this one yet, but just like Buck, I know that it is going to be nice. So, here it is. Look at that. Now you understand why I call it the 119 Mini. It has almost the same shape and form. So let's go look at some specs on that before we talk about what it's good for. It is a full tank construction, goes all the way down. It does have a phenolic handle. It does have the same for the butt guard and the guard here as the 119 as well that is going to be aluminum. The overall length is 8.75 inches. The blade length is 4.5 inches. It weighs 4.9 ounces. It does have a clip point and it's hollow grind. See, I still have oil in there from it being in storage there. It is made of 420HC high carbon. And it does have the Paul Boss heat treatment. If you look up in the uh, charts, you can see what year this one was made. So this knife can be used very well. Now, some of your bigger blades, people talk about bushcrafting. Can you baton with this? Little, little trees, maybe two inches. Can you chop with this? No, I would not. I wouldn't even baton with it. Whittle with it, yes. Makes tent pegs yes notches yes things like that you can use this for primarily what this is going to be used for is a small knife you're going to be cutting rope you're going to be cutting twine paracord you might be food prep with this is great for food prep or it's still really good knife if you have clean game with the buck 110 folding hunter you're going to have no problem with this in fact a lot of people like this more because it is a fixed blade and they don't have to worry about anything going on with the mechanism and closing on their fingers. In fact, let's just look at the size. Now this is the Buck 110 Slim. It's my everyday carry. It needs to be cleaned a little bit, but you're gonna see the length. So this is just under four inches. This is four and a half inches. You do have the fuller here on both sides. So you've got a good knife here. The uh, handle, and no, I didn't cut myself on the knife. I was cutting some paper on the board cutter and well, it fell on my finger. Anyway, 
but it has a good grip there. So let's take a look at that and now let's compare it to the Buck 119. As you can see, the handle is a little bit shorter. Not a lot, but a little bit. The Buck 119, I have about an inch, maybe an inch and a half there. 117, maybe half an inch, a little less. Feels good in the hand though. I know a lot of people always complain about the phenolic handles because they are slippery, slippery, a little bit when wet, but yet, you know, the biggest thing about the handles is it's easy to clean blood off when you're cleaning things. It's easier to keep that in the handle clean. But once again, it's a buck 117. Now, I would put this in a category as if you have an everyday carry of the 110 and you love it and you use it all the time but you are in a place where you can carry openly now in missouri you cannot carry this concealed no matter what it's you have to carry that open but if you can if you're in a job or a place where you can open carry a knife hey that's perfect and uh if you can't well get a little 110 you know love that so like I said, that is it is a nice knife. All right, and how sharp is this? You know, what's interesting is I actually did this, but I forgot to hit record. So <laughs> let's do it again. That is so sharp. The tip to the back cuts that so easy. So a couple of things about the knife and knife care. You know, once again, use the knife for what it's used for. This is not a survivalist knife. This is really is not a bushcraft knife. This is a knife. Once again, food prep, cutting small things, cleaning game. That is what it's used for. One thing I love about the Buck 420, high carbon, still with the Paul Boss heat treatment, is that it's going to lend to good edge retention and it's going to be easy to sharpen. Now, the reason I love the stainless steel part is because when you are using a carbon knife, and I love carbon knives, but you have to get those things cleaned, dried, and oiled up really quickly. Once again, I use food safe mineral oil. But you gotta do that because if you don't, you're gonna get, start getting rust on those pretty quick. Well, maybe you're hunting or maybe you're hiking and you are out for a whole day, maybe two days, and your blade gets wet. Well, you're not gonna have to worry about it with this. You can do it as soon as you get to it. I mean, as soon as you can, do it. But it's going to be a lot more forgiving when it comes to that. I would say if you can, get the 119 and the 117 together. It's a good combination to have. This one's for bigger chores. And of course, you know I love the Buck 124 Frontiersman. And, uh, you know, and if you normally use, once again, the 110, but you can use a fixed blade and you would want to trust that even more maybe do some things that are a little bit more heavy duty and you don't want to risk breaking this and in fact <laughs> this knife is really dirty aaron clean your knives okay anyway hey if you like what you watched hit like subscribe and ring the bell for notifications of other videos and i do have an affiliate link so where you can buy this knife beautiful knife gorgeous knife Hey, thanks for watching. God bless.